Okay, guys. Um, this is my experience with WHD Load, one of the best pieces of software that I think you can get for the Amiga, which means you can install games on the Amiga's hard drive. Um, I'll show you how to actually get it working because a lot of people find it hard to get it working. Now what I've done is I've downloaded the uh, classic workbench package because it has it all set up already. Um, you only need to put your kickstart images in there. And uh, here you go. These, these are the uh, ones that come supplied with um, Amiga Kit, uh, no, uh, Classic Workbench, and they're the RTB ones, and these are the original ones. Now, this is the renamed kick of the Amiga 500, and uh, this is the renamed kick of the 3.1 ROM, the uh, Amiga 1200 one. Now, the package is installed, and I'm a registered user, and I suggest anyone, everybody should register because it's quite cheap and it's lasted me so long and it just means you don't have any waiting time between games or anything and like I've got a small hard drive but here's some of the games I've got on it It's uh, and they all work really well so let me uh, just show you one for example um, let's see uh, Du, 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 breathless, the uh, 3D first person shooter. So, as you see, there's not the delay at the beginning, it's unbelievably quick. Loads you straight into there. No disc waiting times or anything like that. So this is a uh, breathless. I don't know if you can see it there because it looks quite dark. But as you can see, that runs completely well. And then you just press F10, and instantly you're back to the workbench. Now uh, this works with many, many games. So uh, let's let's try Parasol Stars, Parasol Stars, and it, each one has a different option. So sometimes it has um, print screen to quit or F10, but it never really varies from those. Those are the uh, main ones that you get. So as you can see, it just loads up instantly. And all your games are on the hard drive, which is just great. I'm sure they keep adding support for loads of them, but they support most of the main games for the Amiga. I'm awful at this game. <laughs> As you can see, it's probably the second time I've played this. Oh. What do I do now? Do I fly off? Yay, to the next land. Yeah, I'm pretty awful at that, but then you just quit that straight away and go back to the um, workbench. Now, this is a really good example, which is Rise of the Robots CD32. Now, I used to have a CD32 with Rise of the Robots, and the introduction and loading time would be horrific. It was a one-speed CD-ROM, I think, or a two-speed, so it was unbelievably slow. Now, this is what WHD's like. It cuts out all of the loading times, all of the crap. 
so it makes it unbelievably fast and this is great because it's actually playable when it wasn't on the cd32 it takes a little while to load because it's a uh, rather a big game graphic eh? let's see and if you've got rise of the robots this will astonish you this is running on a Amiga 1200 and even the intro is nice and fast and all the loading's fast. Look at this. It's great. It's how Amiga games should be. As you see, straight into the intro, straight onto the next scene. No waiting or skipping. I'm just going to skip through it now because it is rather a long intro than flying and all of this rubbish. But it's amazingly fast compared to the CD32. No, I've not played the AGA version um, on disc, but I suspect that would not load as fast as the WHD load version. Straight into the game. Okay, so this is uh, one of the fights. And it works quite fast, actually, the reactions. I'm surprised compared to the uh, CD32, where it seemed rather sluggish. It still seems sluggish now, but... Oh, my fire doesn't seem to work. This is probably the wrong joystick, but as you can see, it's quite fast. I've just got my ass kicked. Alright, I'll show you uh, another game anyway. Um, let's have a look. I remember one that used to load... Um, took quite long to load. Let's see one of these games. Um, to be honest, it was most of the CD32 games that took a long time to load um let's have a look at mortal kombat because mortal kombat i remember that usually took ages on the discs but here's the whd load version and we're straight into it which is good and if you're a mortal kombat fan you recognize all this all these screens and how long they used to take to load. But there we go, straight away. Johnny Cage, martial arts legend, trained by the great masters. And here we go, straight onto it. I could be Raiden. Redone. And I'm pretty shit at this, so uh, I'm probably going to get beaten, but here we go. Raiden vs. Sonya. If you remember on the disc one, you'd have to insert a new one now. And yes, it seems to have fucking broken. Well, um, that's probably because I haven't got certain ROMs. I've only got the... 500 and the 1200 ROMs, um, but as you can see, the loading time was fast. <laughs> but that's a that's a nice little end to my uh, WHD load video. I've still got a lot to do on it, but eventually, I shall have it running wonderfully. Okay, thanks guys, and stay tuned for more Amiga videos.